Hi everyone, Luca from lucasgiverphotography.com and in this video I'm going to tell you why I purchased the DJI Osmo Pocket. But check out this little decor here. I'm actually working here uh, around Christmas uh, with uh, the Santa for kids, so it's a pretty cool job. And I used a bit of the, the background uh, for this video, which is nice, especially when it's Christmas payoff. So, uh, the DJI Osmo Pocket. Well, a lot of videos have been made about this product. A lot of good videos, a lot of footage, a lot of videos reviewing the specs, the 4K, the slow motion, the time lapse, and, and yes, there are massive amount of videos online on YouTube about this product. And but what I wanted to do is kind of tell you the reason why I buy it, because it's good to buy something, but if you don't know why you buy it, well, the reason is could be completely different for you than it is for me. So I so that by telling you why I buy it for, this may be giving you an idea of what you could use it for. So the main reason I really got this for is for more of a personal uh, footage. So yes, it's with my family, it's going on holidays, it's taking it when I go out with my kids. It really is kind of the main purpose. But I also think that this could be an amazing video, uh, an amazing product for me as a YouTuber where I can make some actual full videos where I don't obviously have to show uh, maybe some equipment or uh, I want to do something quick about a subject that can be only addressed without really showing, um, showing much product or showing anything. Uh, the, the good thing about this is you can actually put it on front of you and it will track you. So, and I've tried it and it's pretty good. I still have to test it a bit more, uh, especially that uh, I like to be a bit off frame uh, when I shoot myself, when I do YouTube videos. Uh, I don't like to be well right centered on it. Uh, I still have to work out how I can get this, where you can track my face, but still be on the side of the frame. Uh, but I believe it's been done because I've just seen some videos, so that is pretty, uh, that's a good thing. Now, the, the feeling of the equipment is, is really rugged, it, it really heavy for the size it is. Uh, it's not an heavy product, but you know, compared to a mobile phone, you pretty much get the same size, the same weight. I don't know exactly what the weight is, but it's quite heavy and bifty, you know, it's really, it's a well-made product. However, I don't really want to drop it because I believe that the, um, the, the, the head here it may be a bit fragile and that if you drop it, this may break. Uh, but I may be wrong, there uh, hasn't been any dropping test or anything. Don't count on me for, to do that, but uh, yes, uh, I will definitely be uh, trying this out. Uh, now, let's move on uh, from there, which is a Fuji X-T2 with a 1655 and micro road to uh, the little video and you're going to see there is a quite a big crop factor. Uh, let me just record, right, and at 3, 2, 1. Moving on to the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket. Now, the firmware that has been used um, for this version, which is the second one they released, has a better video, better tracking, and better pretty much everything. Uh, I move, I can see my face moving. Now you can actually set up this as fast and slow tracking. Um, I don't know if this will kind of smooth the shot if you're doing in slow. Uh, obviously, I still have lots of tests to do, and this is not a, a review of this equipment, but more of a general. Um, general thought on my first opinion and what I'm going to use it for. Obviously, it would be interesting to do a full review on it, but more with footage and what you can actually do with because it's nice to say you can do 4K, you can do this, you can do that, but let's see how far we can take this footage, you know. One of the other reasons why uh, I got this camera, let's go back to the Fuji, is that is that I also use the drone with the, um, the handle you can take, you can put the drone, put your phone in it and it kind of work with a stabilizer. The great things about this is like you can fly your drone up in the air, go down and take over with this so you're able to really get inside places where you couldn't go with the drone. And by editing it well, you can actually make it look like it's been completely, it's one footage and pretty impossible. I believe that with, um, with this camera, you can first of all maybe 
set it up on the on the drone but i think what we can do is use the drone get down and then take over with this which will be much easier than using this bulky uh, stabilizer yes it's the same camera but i believe that this camera is very close to the mavic pro which is the first version i have so those are kind of the main reason i got the dji osmo 4 uh, i think the price may be a bit too high for lots of people uh, Lots of people have been comparing this to the GoPro and I think it's the, because of the price point, because of the portability. But I had many GoPros and the GoPros with me didn't work well. I, I don't do that many extreme sports. Um, and it's kind of a bulky setup, it's a square, it's not practical really to use. So you kind of need to use an adapter and some kind of stand. As here, well, it's it's really good the way it's been, you can handle the thing. and. Um, the way you can do the time-lapse motion, the motion time-lapse, well you can do this with a GoPro without having an actual setup underneath. So the way it's been done, it's really really aimed at consumer but also maybe a pro level uh, if you're good enough with lighting and with editing. Uh, but for me this has much more to offer than the GoPro. Uh, the only one of the big downsides for me is the battery that you can't remove the battery and change it you have to actually charge it so or have a, a power brick with you or uh, simply once you finish using your two hours of footage uh, more or less you have to recharge it so yes um yeah uh, personally i think the price point is maybe a bit high uh, especially when you look at the price of the accessories but on the gopro side it's pretty much the same in my opinion, this has much more to offer than the GoPro if you are not an extreme sports person. Um, so yeah, I will come back to you with a full uh, review on this product. I'm going for two weeks on Poland for the Christmas holidays. I'm leaving on Sunday and I will be filming the full trip and trying to make a short, uh, a short footage, uh, short film about this using only this. So I'm only taking the drone and this uh, over there. I'm not taking any cameras for the first time. I won't be using my phone for any pictures or videos. I will only be using this until I have no more battery anyway. So any question for the full review, please post them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I will try to include any question you have in the full review. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. -bye.